So tonight, a cloud of cement causing a scare at a plant in Charlestown today. Hazmat crews were called in after cement powder spilled from a silo covering a truck and the ground in white. WBZ's Christina Rex is live in Charlestown with the story. Christina? Yeah, David and Lisa, nearly seven hours after that original malfunction, the cleanup effort is still going on here. We want to show you that's another truck, part of the certified cleanup company, showing up to clean that white powder off of the ground, that white powder prompting a massive hazmat response and shutting down business for an entire day. A massive cloud of white dust, a truck overloaded with an outpouring of powdered cement Friday morning. As soon as I was coming down federal, I saw the cloud and knew something wasn't good. Once it settled, the white powder left a thin, snow-like cover on nearby cars and prompted a massive hazmat response from Boston Fire. I, the primary hazard is an inhalation hazard and an inhalation exposure. Nobody was hurt, but several people were tested and decontaminated after being exposed to the powdered cement, including nearby restaurant employee Latita Jackson. You gotta go strip, put your stuff in a bag, take a shower, and some hot, hot water for three minutes. Then you put on this lovely outfit. The powder came from Lafarge Wholesome, a plant on the water that supplies cement to several distribution companies. A representative tells WBZ the hazmat issue was due to a computer malfunction and that a customer's truck was overloaded with slag cement, causing the material to spill onto the loading area. They say they're in the process of investigating how this computer failure occurred. I go home for the day. The powdered cement dump evacuated employees from nearby businesses and sent them home for the day, closing down the entire plant for more than seven hours as OSHA investigated and certified hazard teams were called in to clean up, trapping trucks and cars inside the contaminated area. Well, I'm not going anywhere for a while, I think. And while the cleanup is still going on now, a representative from the company tells me it will be done by the end of the day. But this plant is not going to reopen until Monday, just out of an abundance of precaution. Live in Charlestown, Christina Rex, WBZ News. All right, Christina, and it's not the first time there was a bigger spill at that same plant back in 2006. A cement delivery system became clogged and overpressurized, sending an eruption of 3,000 pounds of cement powder into a nearby school bus yard. 61 bus drivers had to be taken to the hospital for respiratory issues when that happened. Lisa? 